far end is Katya Amato, who is Senior Instructor, Department of the English, Portland State University. Next to her is Ben Saunders, um, Associate Professor, Department of English, University of Oregon. Is this, is this working? Is it working? Yeah. Okay. Um, and of course, James Stern, uh, Cartoonist, Director of the Center of Cartoon Studies. Brian Bendis, like you guys don't know, <laughs> uh, best-selling writer for Marvel Comics, and also, most recently, uh, adjunct professor at Portland State University. To my right is Trevor Dodge, um, one of my teachers, actually. Um, and Trevor is associate professor of liberal arts at Pacific Northwest College of Arts, and permanent English faculty at Clackamas Community College. Right. Oh, and you are? And I am Diana Schutz, and I'm an executive editor at Dark Horse Comics. But in 2002, I became an adjunct instructor at Portland Community College. And what happened was Will Eisner, with whom I had been working, uh, Will had gone to the University of Nebraska or some, some place out in the middle of nowhere where they'd invited him to come and lecture about comics to the entire college. And he came back and he was completely blown away, saying to me, my God, they're, they're teaching courses there. They're teaching a course there called Comics as Literature. And this for Will was everything that he <clears throat> that he had ever wanted for this field. Um, he wanted the recognition that comics <coughs> could be an art form, that comics, uh, in fact, were literature, had the potential to be something more than mere pulp entertainment. So, in conversation with Will, he was waxing poetic about all of this and said to me, you know, you have a master's degree. Why don't you go teach? Well, when Will Eisner tells you to do something, <laughs> goddamn, you go and do it. <laughs> so, so I I went to Portland Community College and uh, began teaching a course in understanding comics art in 2002, uh, which, to my knowledge, was the was the first in the local scene. Um, since then. Here in Portland, things have expanded greatly. One of the people that I got in touch with before I started this class to help me out was James Stern, uh, who had been teaching for quite a few years. <laughs> and that was good, and I needed to know that. I, I, was, I was very behind in what I needed to know, but I wanted to take the lessons and apply them directly to my comic book work. I just I had I had a goal, and I wanted that I wanted I wanted to pay them to get me to my goal and for them all teach me what I need to learn. And it was very frustrating uh, that my, my, one, my one illustration professor kept referencing Andy Cap every time I would bring up sequential art. And I'd go, yeah, I know, I'm going somewhere else. And, uh, and then what happened was I actually uh, broke into independent comics when I was in college. I, I actually got a, uh, I was making comics and, and, I, uh, and Caliber Comics, which is now defunct because they owe everybody money. Um, no. uh, gave, uh, picked up me and picked up David Mack and Mike Oming and a bunch of guys and Ed Brubaker and and uh, and I was in. I was I was in comics and then I was having to put away my comics to go do my schoolwork and I I, um, I went to the I went to the administration and go listen I'm going to have to leave if you don't guys don't let me go I want to do this here I want to learn and draw my comic at the same time um, and they gave me independent study. Just to shut me up. Just go sit in the corner, draw your comics, stop talking. Because it was going. It was, I'm talking two straight years of me and uh, the other person that was there. Michael Gatos was there. He was a year ahead of me, and he got a job. Uh, he he was actually the first Tundra published book. So he is on beautiful Tundra paper, and I'm on Caliber newsprint. It was horrible. He was a year ahead of me. It was I hated him. And uh, um, and then so, you get him a job. Well, no, we, he, he, we we became good friends. But the, my point was that I was. It was a very frustrating academic experience of which I ended up leaving before I finished my master's degree anyhow because I had already produced a bunch of comics. I was 
I was like in Spin Magazine, and I, I still was bumping up against the wall. They were looking at me like I was crazy. And, it, it, and, and there was more of us growing at the school, and everyone at that school who was fighting against the academic system, who was but desperate to be part of the academic system, every one of them ended up becoming a, a name cartoonist and some of an artist or writer. Every one of them made it and uh, almost against the grain of the school. And it seemed uh, crazy to me. Cut to years later, I, I start getting off. Ben asked me to come down and speak in front of his class, and it felt weird to me. Uh, I felt more homeschooled than anything. And then Diana asked me to come teach her class. Uh, both experiences um, were very good experiences, like very felt good in the heart, like it felt right. And um, I was taking those experiences and applying them to my message board or letter columns or wherever else I thought, but I realized I was starting to uh, uh, teach among the silliness that was going on in, in my world. I was trying to open up a dialogue, um, just get my, my other peers, because you find in comics, and probably you find this too, is that is a lot of people don't like to tell you their secrets, cause, mostly because it seems that they think they don't know what they're doing, so they don't want to tell anybody, they don't want to admit it. So there's particularly mainstream comics, a lot of people don't want to talk about the work in an academic fashion or just share their secrets or their process. And uh, I and my friends started making a greater effort to do that, to let's give the you know director's commentary on the DVD, let's share as much as possible because that's what we liked. And, and in comics, make it what you like because there's not that much else Plus, you know, there's, there's, there's no money, there's no babes, there's no, it's, 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 it's <laughs> do what you like because that's all you're going to get at the end of the day is something that you like. So, uh, cut to uh, Diana called and said, hey, Portland State uh, wants to talk to you about teaching uh, or do, do you know someone who wants to do this or do you want to do this? And with that look in her face like, I'm not going to guilt you, but I, you should do this. <laughs> you should do this. And, and uh I, I did, I, you know, I started thinking about all the people in my life that I admire the shit out of and uh, all the people in the world that I've met that I admire, and they're, 90% of them are teachers. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, and then when I started talking to certain people in my life about it, they would bring up that they were teachers at one point. Uh, like, almost everybody I, I was in business with at some level was had something to do with teaching at some point in their life, and I went, that's it. I should do it, I should do it now. And I should do it, um, and I should create that class that I was so desperate to make uh, at Cleveland uh, Institute of Art. Like, this was, there was a class that I wanted, and I, I'm going to create that class. And, and, uh, and I, I met with Katya and, 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 and uh, Michelle over at, at uh, Portland State, and... Your having worked for Marvel did not go down well with the department. I know, it was cool. <laughs> but I, I liked that. I liked that. that my, uh, the thing that I was... Uh, we had a big fight about it. I liked it. I know. It was, I mean, it's been so the opposite. It's usually in my indie stuff that... Ugh, you know, now it's the other thing. That I, I like that. So I showed um, them your indie stuff and they liked it. Thank you. That's why you start your own school so you don't have to like sell someone like yourself to a... No, no, but I, but I kind of liked it. So, um, so I taught my first class this year. Um, some of my uh, claim students are in the in the room, and uh, and I'll be doing it again in September. Uh, so it was a very, very good experience.